According to the Pentagon Test Office's annual weapons evaluations report, Lockheed Martin is still delivering F-35 fighter jets with quality defects after 13 years of production. An F-16 aircraft painted in camouflage markings and colors of the Russian Su-57 was spotted in Red Flag 2025 exercise. The TED-BF program has been cleared from all relevant ministries and is now being studied by the National Security Council Secretariat. The Defense Ministry will sign the 10,200 crore rupees contract for ammunition of Pinaka systems today with Solar Industries and Munitions India Limited. Idea Forge has unveiled its upgraded Switch V2 drone with enhanced range endurance and payload. Idea Forge will showcase its new cutting-edge high-altitude all-terrain logistics drone at the Aero India 2025. The B-1B Lancer supersonic bomber is set to make a return to Aero India in 2025, that will also conduct aerial demonstrations. Ahead of Aero India 2025, Rolls-Royce's Future Programs chief has made a significant offer for a complete transfer of intellectual property rights for the jointly developed 110 kN engine for AMCA program. The Indian Air Force has announced plans to engage with private sector companies for the manufacturing and development of both established and next-generation ammunitions. The DRDO is currently testing its indigenous Tatran 1500 horsepower engine in a facility in the United States. With the US engine manufacturer General Electric promising to start delivery of F404 engines from next month. India plans to progressively crank up production of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. Hindustan Aeronautics is ready with five Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, which will be fitted with the F-404 engines once they begin arriving next month. While integration of advanced electronic warfare systems and the Israeli radars on the Tejas Mark 1A has been completed, work is underway to test fire the indigenous Astra air-to-air -air missile from the first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft very soon. The performance of American Striker was demonstrated for the Indian Army in high-altitude conditions of Ladakh, which also saw the testing of the Javelin anti-tank guided missile. Reports indicate that the striker performed optimally, but the Javelin's performance was not at the optimum level, and India has already sent a communication to the US side asking for repeat demonstration of the Javelin, and both sides are currently working on a new schedule. The Indian Navy has announced plans to replace the French supplied combat management system on its Calvary class submarines with an indigenous alternative. This decision comes after years of dependency on France's naval group for weapon integration, mainly due to the lack of access to the source code of the French combat management system. Barrett Electronics Limited has been tasked with developing a new combat management system for the upcoming three enhanced Calvary submarines, that will also be retrofitted into the existing six Calvary class submarines. The 12 indigenous project 76 submarines were initially proposed to have a displacement exceeding 3,000 tons, reports indicate that it might potentially reach up to 4,000 tons, that suggests a significant increase in size and capability compared to previous classes. The design phase is expected to reach its final stage by 2028, and these 12 submarines will be entirely indigenous from design to construction, including the integration of an indigenous AIP system and pump jet propulsion system. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>